over the last year, it was a source of stability uh, because, you know, rural India was not really under the crutches of uh, the lockdown. Monsoon rains were good. You know, food trade was up and running. So it was a source of stability. But since around May this year, rural demand has slowed, uh, you know, quite a lot. And you know, some of the big consumer companies have also spoken about it. And when you peer in, there are a lot of things that are driving it. Um, you know, number one, volatile rains. Uh, they were normal, but they were still very volatile. Uh, construction activity was a bit weaker because of you know volatile rains. Rural inflation has been rising since May, so that's hurting you know purchasing power. And also things like Narega, you know Narega is running 11% lower than last year. It's still higher than pre-pandemic, but it's much lower than last year. So all of this has hurt rural uh, demand in my view. But again, two things could improve rural fortunes in the next couple of months. Number one, you know, uh, if we sort of move from uh, goods to services where trickle down is higher, you know, that the one we've spoken about, that's one. And the second, if, you know, now that the monsoon season is over, construction picks back up, if there is a big demand for residential real estate, you know, a lot of people wanting to improve their houses after being locked in for two years, that could also increase the demand for commuting rural laborers. Uh, and that could be another source of, um, you know, income uh, for rural India. So, you know, hoping that things pick up on, 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 that, on, on that front. So that's rural. But really looking across all of this and thinking about two, three years down the line, I think, you know, the fact that the rich have gotten richer, big companies have gotten bigger, you know, all of that is likely to leave behind a scar. Uh, now, we find that 80% of India's labor force is informal, and about half of them are people who don't work in agriculture. So they work in other sectors uh, in rural and urban India. These are the people who, through the pandemic, have lost incomes, have lost jobs, have had to sell assets. Uh, uh, they are sort of subdued right now. But if over time their demand continues to remain weak, uh, then uh, you know that will actually hurt growth. Uh, that will hurt the fortunes of even the big companies, and that is something uh, which doesn't play out in the year of the slowdown, uh, in the year of forced formalization. That's something that plays out over time. Uh, we saw the same thing during demonetization. In the year of demonetization, GDP growth was extremely strong. Everybody was thinking about it being a big reform. Uh, stock markets were up. But the couple of years after demonetization, every single year GDP growth was lower. My sense is that uh, the scar of rising inequality and disruption to the informal sector is something we will see more of over the next couple of years. It's not visible in the period of pent-up goods and services demand.